talking about the Mozart clarinet concerto, um, which was originally written for this strange, rare instrument, a, a basset clarinet in A. These days, the most popular clarinet, and the one that you'd start on if you, as I started on in fifth grade, is the B flat clarinet. That's the most common used in orchestra, lots of solo repertoire. Also in orchestra is a slightly larger A clarinet. Where you can tell maybe this a little bit lower in pitch, just a little bit deeper sound and a, and a, and a pitch to half step lower. So now we get to the basset clarinet. And then in the, in the 1700s, of course, you couldn't go to a store and buy a, a musical instrument. If you wanted one built, you'd have to go to an instrument maker and say what you wanted. And uh, Mozart's friend, Anton Stadler, they were fellow masons, so they were kind of in this secret society together, um, and, and close friends in Vienna. He was interested in the low tones of the clarinet the most, so he had, he had a set of these built, basset clarinets, one in A, like this one, and one in B flat. And so when Mozart composed the quintet, the concerto, and the, um, his last opera, Clemenza di Tito, he composed them with this, this, this range of instrument in mind. Um, a regular A clarinet would, could go this low. So down to a low E when you're playing in C major, down to the third of the, the third scale degree. And this one then, so you could play more notes in C major, goes down to a low written C. Goes way down to the, the C. Here's a good passage from the second movement of Mozart concerto. sweet dolce upper range that range of the clarinet that Mozart was really fond of but also had had those deeper lower tones especially in his late works all those Vienna works when he moved to Vienna in 1781 and and became involved in the scene there that's also when you see him starting to use the basset basset horn this is this is a UNCG basset horn in, in F, so this is pitched even lower than, than the Bassett clarinet. And this one is a, is a fancy Bassett horn. I don't know that they're all like this, but this one is also has that range down to the low C, so it has the same, it has the same extended foot. The, this piece was Composed in December, finished in December 1791, Mozart promptly died, never heard the piece performed. The score was lost, and it's suspected that Anton Stadler had the score for a while and then pawned it and it got, it got lost. 
the, there was a published version in 1801, so we have some, like an arrangement of the piece. The only actual Mozart manuscript we have of this piece is a fragment of the Ronda movement, the last movement. <laughs> I'm remembering correctly. It's the beginning of that movement, and it's for a basset horn. It's for closer to this instrument. Um, and then, so later, then he ended up obviously using that that music for the pitched it a little bit higher.